In just days, the city of Orlando will celebrate love and pride in the most colorful way. It's a week full of events leading up to the festival and come out with Pride Parade. And here now to give us a preview is Jeff Prestyko, the Come Out with Pride president. Thank you so much, Jeff, for being with us today. Thank you for having me. I wish Great we had here. a giant rainbow here <laughs> to just bring some color into our set. Absolutely, my, yes. Always shirt. have the rainbow pins. We Absolutely. love them. So tell us about what the events are going to be like for the entire week, because it's not just mm -hmm. one parade. Yep, we're continuing our week of events. It starts and kicks off on Sunday with our Drag Race 5K. We had that the first time last year, had a lot of participants, a lot of fun. We have some uh, performers coming out, getting the crowd pumped. And we're in partnership again with Zebra Coalition, and they do so much work with youth, um, and helping that community mm -hmm. that we're really proud to get that going. So a lot of the money that we raise helps go, go back to that community. I love Zebra Absolutely. Coalition. Absolutely. Yes. So important. So important work. And then the rest of the week, we have a lot of different events going on in the evenings. So Monday, we have a happy hour at Hammered Lamb. A um, couple of other events going on through the week, including uh, a launch party on mm -hmm. Friday. That's going to be at Stonewall. Um, there's a basketball game that the Orlando Magic is having, so it's their Pride Night. It's the very first preseason game of the year, so people can come to that and, and get engaged. And uh, even concluding past uh, Saturday, we've got uh, Recovery Brunch on Sunday <laughs> and, uh, and a big concert that uh, the band is putting on on Sunday as well. So oh, one thing I love things. about Pride is that it's family friendly. Mm -hmm. You can bring your kids, you can bring your dogs. Why is that so important to engage all of Central Florida in this event? It's so important because, you know, we want to make sure that we're, we're showcasing the diversity of our community. And especially when we have families there, that's really a great chance for everyone to engage, interact. One of the things that we're doing this year for the first time is, you know, people who love Fringe and Kids Fringe, mm -hmm. um, we're engaged with them. They are going to be putting together our Rainbow Ranch, as we call it. So they've got a bunch of activities for, for kids, for children of all ages. Um, NASA and some other uh, sponsors are coming in and having their, their big uh, floats and everything. So it's really something for all Wow, all families really to bringing enjoy. all of Central Florida yes. to Orlando for one event. I mean, all the way from our coast into of the course. city. Absolutely. That's amazing. Um, the other thing that we have talked about, and I know you've known as well, when we were looking at that video showing what the par parade feels like. Mm -hmm. Can you describe yes. that feeling <laughs> when you're on a float? Whether you're on a float or just watching, it is an hour or two of nonstop energy and mm -hmm. love. Um, you know, we have close to 175 different groups that are going to be part of our uh, parade this year. So we've got, uh, you know, some people think, oh, it's the same thing every year. No, we've yeah. got a lot that we're refreshing. Um, I know uh, Electric Daisy Carnival, they're new this year. We've got a lot of other new groups. So it's going to be really exciting. And our theme this year, which we're really excited about, is heroes. And not superheroes. You know, th those are fun. Mm -hmm. But everyday heroes. We want people to feel that they can be a hero to anyone in the community. If you know someone who is an LGBTQ youth or someone who's trans, just being a helpful person and helping them out could really make a huge difference. So being one of those everyday heroes. But we're also celebrating some of the heroes in our own community. And we have a couple of grand marshals this year that we're really excited about. Um, ben Johansson, who yes, has been really, really engaged with making these ribbons. Uh, he's one of our grand marshals, and he's actually going to be making his one millionth Ribbon on stage this year Incredible. at the rally afterwards. Yeah, and for people who don't yeah. know him, after Pulse, the day after Pulse, he started making those ribbons and committed to making mm -hmm. one million ribbons, and that's yeah. something we've been following. So and that really seen is all incredible. Over the world. Yes, they're Politicians, everywhere. Entertainers, famous people, they're mm -hmm. all wearing these ribbons. So it's going to be really fantastic to have that. Um, Barbie Giselle Royale, she was the first uh, black trans woman to be crowned a Miss International Queen this year. So we're really excited to have her as one of our grand marshals. And um, the Central Florida Sounds of Freedom Band and Color Guard, oh, yeah. they are part of a um, conference that they're having this weekend, or next weekend, and is going to have a 300-piece band performing oh. in the parade. So Incredible. that is going yes. to be something to see and hear. We're is really that something you that. haven't had before? We have not had something of that size. Yeah, that yeah. sound is going to oh, yeah. really get people going. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't Absolutely. wait to hear that. You know, we keep dancing Orlando, and we're going to keep that going for sure. All right, and what yeah. time does everything kick off Saturday? So on Saturday, the marketplace opens and the festival opens at noon. Our parade kicks off at 4 o'clock. We have entertainment throughout the entire evening. Pablo Vitar, Pablo Vitar who is a 
phenomenal, not necessarily a household name yet, but coming soon, um, Instagram following of over 9 million people. Um, she is our headliner, along with Jennifer Holiday uh, from Dreamgirls. Mm. Um, they are going to kick it out, knock it out of the park. <laughs> we've got fireworks at 9 o'clock, one of the best displays in all of Orlando. So we've got something for everyone the entire day long. All right, so events all next week leading up to the big day on yep. October 12th. Yep, and we're taking care of the environment. Um, oh, that's right. Our sustainability yes. efforts, we're really focusing on uh, making sure people are recycling, that our parade units and vendors are um, you know, helping out the environment, no single-use plastics, no plastic straws. Really trying to make it so that it's going to be easy for people to take care of the environment because Lake Eola is our home and we want to take care of it. So and that's the perfect to... audience. You have such a gr great group of people yes. who will mm -hmm. spread that message as we continue events like that. Absolutely. Orlando. All right. Well, thank you so much. We look thank forward you. to it. Thank you. All right. I'm excited.